Hello, this is not a spring chick, and if you've been following the news, you might have heard that Lance Armstrong has learned that Chicago politics trumps all. Curious about that? Well, Lance Armstrong, yes, with all those medals, well, let's just say he's not quite the man he was before. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, all the polls show Romney, you know, is ahead. Okay, they all the polls show that Romney should be winner, winning. But as uh, as it was said yesterday on ABC News by George Stephanopoulos, that it looks like George Romney is possibly the only candidate. The you Republicans mean Mitt Romney? Could, Mitt Romney is the only candidate that they could run against Obama that might actually lose the election to Obama. I know, and this should be a slam dunk for well, them. They said it was a slam dunk. He said that Obama, his negatives are so massive, he's not even considering the economy anymore, and he keeps wanting to invest in projects that no one in our country wants, including the people on the green side, because he's not investing in projects that they know that will work. Mm -hmm. They want the money to go to things that they can use as shining examples that will work. But we see people down the street that they're, you know, they put in uh, from this building, they put in a whole brand new solar si uh, solar roofing system, and they, which basically isn't built in the United States. It's built in China because we gave billions of dollars to the Chinese government to build a system. Well, we're hiring because the president of the United States has guaranteed that these the, this system will not cost you a penny. Well, no, you have to pay for it completely up front, and then in 18 months or so, then you'll start getting your tax rebates back. So when they say it won't cost you a penny, uh -uh, it costs you right now. And the people don't understand it. They're, okay, who are the people putting the solar systems in that are not gonna cost you a penny? Are they the people on the left? BS says no. Are they the young people? BS says no. Are they senior citizens that that basically are being conned by the Obama administration? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And Lance Armstrong and Chicago-style politics. Al Armstrong learned you do not re support a Republican candidate uh, without paying a penalty. Armstrong should have basically gave Obama the finger and said, bring it on, because I'll drag your ass into court also, because all you're doing is threatening people that don't support you. So you, you said you appoint a czar that basically has decided that he's going to take out anybody that supports the Republican candidates and charge him with drug thing and keep you in the court system. It's standard Chicago politics. Before elections, if they can't knock somebody off, you know, the one way, they'll take you to court and make certain that your image is ruined forever. Armstrong can't afford not to have, well, I think what he's counting on is a Republican victory because then when that happens, the re you're going to see Romney go after everyone that Obama has appointed that. They said that we want the names of all of these people. You say that so that you're uh, their anonymous sources reported that he was taking drugs that they can't find and can never test. So. Mm -hmm. And new details emerge of deadly New York City shooting. Well, yeah. Well, it was, I, I, okay. We can guarantee you that people are not being fired in the garment industry. We were there at the panel session where. Over 500,000 jobs have been created during the Obama administration in the garment business in the United States. And that, um, that it had been more, more, more jobs have been created in the last 20 years combined by this president. So this guy who was fired because the company is downsizing because people aren't buying products did not do the shooting because he was downsized because they're, they're hiring, they're not firing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he didn't tell you what was happening in the back while they were talking. Oh, God, you don't want... I can tell the other, other press people knew what was going on in the back when the speech was being given, but that's between... All, that's the press people only thing, folks. But if there, were, there was much laughter, we can tell you that. Well, there's always what's said on stage and what really happened. Oh, yeah. Politicians lie. And Paul Ryan, two supporters, I'm you. Well, yeah, he is them. The guy basically is not a millionaire. He worked his way through college. He's actually more you than I think any politician. He is more a long you time. than Biden, Romney, or Obama. Okay, he did not take handouts to do good things in his life. He went. He washed cars. He worked at McDonald's. He cleaned toilets. He knows what it's like because he's from a he's from a working class area of. The state of Wisconsin. That's why he keeps getting elected because he's one of them in Wisconsin. 
The prediction models look dismal for Obama. Yeah, that's what they were talking about yesterday. There is no way on earth Obama should still be in this race because he doesn't give a rat's ass about the economy or unemployment. And yet Romney is losing because Romney is losing on strictly, well, this morning, the Mitt Romney agreed with Obama again on, 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 uh, on the private business is doing really well. They're not worried about the regulations. They're not worried about health care. It's the little guy that's worried. Well, no, re all the Republican commercials have to do with Obama, with Obama attacking business. So now Romney said there's no, there's no problem. And Obama warns Romney Hood will take from the poor and give to the rich. It doesn't take, okay, here's how it works is 49.9% .9 of the public pay no federal income tax whatsoever. What's going to happen is if you work, you're going to have to actually start paying federal income tax. And that's what they call taking from the poor. Making them pay. Remember Obama said, we have, people have to have shared responsibilities. Well, then it's time that the people that aren't paying their taxes, at least the wealthy are paying taxes, even if they're dodging a lot of them, they are paying federal income taxes. And Lenovo unveils lighter, quicker ThinkPad laptop. Yeah, well, we've got an Acer that's lighter than the Lenovo, and it's got more power to it. I know. Well, they're calling those, what, ultra-portables? Yeah, they're basically, they're like, net. they're what the netbook was meant to be. Yeah, but our, well, part of it is, ours is size like a netbook, but it's a laptop. Yeah. Polls show that business overwhelmingly supports the re-election of Obama, unless you actually read the fine print. Yeah, the um, press is neglected. Okay, in all sectors of the, of the private industry, including consumer electronics, which we heard from Gary Shapiro does not support the guy whatsoever, all sectors of the business community support the re-election of Obama because of what he can do for helping business grow and tech and you know, all this stuff. Unfortunately, when you read the fine print, you find out that almost all the businesses that were surveyed were members of the Democratic Party. And and of the majority of the and the real majority said neither. Neither. The neither one over two to one over Obama and Romney combined. It was, a, I mean, they don't want either candidate. I mean, like Obama got like about 15% and Romney got like about 10%. And it was like set, almost 70%, 70 plus percent of the, poll, of the people in the poll said neither of the above. So mm -hmm. that's not, and that, remember, if it's heavily democratic skewed, and almost 70% say neither of the above, then the Democrats don't even support his views. And Google to include people with Gmail in search results? Oh, God, the feds are already throwing a fit what about is that. The, deal the Democrats and that? Republicans both, what, you're gonna start, they're going to start publishing your emails now. Wait, wait, wait. Publishing your email addresses or your emails? The emails, but the email address goes with the email. They're going to publish the emails? Yeah, the emails are going to be searchable on the internet, <laughs> which is basically getting... Okay, Google and Facebook have done nothing but one wrong step after another with the privacy bit, and they're, they're being... Uh, the left-wingers don't like it because they can't have their emails out, and the right-wingers don't like it because they can't have their emails out, and the people in the middle don't want their emails. I mean... Well, that is one thing everybody can ban against. Oh, yeah. And Arizona governor, no public benefits for young immigrants. Oh, yeah, because it's, uh, it's against the law. They said that uh, by executive order, you cannot change federal law. And Obama, by executive order, has changed federal law on welfare and on, on immigration. No, you can't move somebody. Okay, this morning, they just were doing on Thing News. On one of the entrances in the United States, there's a big expensive sign saying, you know, welcome to the United States. You know, all people coming into this country uh, that, you know, please have your papers ready, except those from Mexico, and you're invited to go straight across what? by our president. That's horrible. No, because Obama basically, the policy is no longer, it's not even catch and release anymore. It's don't even stop them. I mean, I, I figure what... Of course, I, they'll stop every American that comes I, by I figure that it. what happens is, because in Los Angeles, I generally, I get pulled over because I'm driving while old and disabled. That's not what you do on certain streets. So I figure if they do it the next time, I'm going to say, no, how do they English? Mm -hmm. Illegal. Mexico. 
and the police officer, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I, 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 may, I apologize. Please do not report me to my superiors. He said, oh, yeah, oh, wait a second. I got a hundred bucks if you don't report me for stopping you. <laughs> no, they're, no, they're actually suing the federal government at the moment. Officers, immigration people, police officers, all these people that have had to, you know, because some of these people are outright criminals and they can't arrest them because the Obama oh. administration has basically said no more. You know, and then, well, hey, God, you don't look like, you know, you look like you're 90 years old. 16. Parent came here, brought me, forced me to come to the country. I said, you look like you're 90 years old. 16. Oh, okay. I know. And Facebook aligns with Apple, not yeah. Android. They've dropped, they dropped HTML5 because they can't make their system work. Okay, Facebook is not, okay, Twitter was always designed to be used on telephones and stuff, on, on smart things. Facebook was designed to be used on computers by geeks in colleges that didn't have cell phones, they didn't have the stuff. It was a means of, you know, communicating, you know, when they were in classrooms on their computers because they couldn't get the cell phones out. So, computers, they were allowed there. Now they're finding out that it cannot be changed and they're hoping that Apple will be able to create a thing on the Apple operating system that will allow Facebook to be monetized. It, it's, um, the trouble is, is that it was never designed for it and never intended for it. And when you do something, you can't make something backwards compatible. It never has worked. Mm. And Arizona governor, no public benefits for young immigrants. You know, she likes that one. Oh, well, okay. Muslim group blasts judge over sea monster comparison. Well, they're not going to win that case because it's one of their judges. Oh, really? Okay. For put, Muslim group? Okay. We'll put it this way. He's a liberal Democrat. The problem is, is that the Democrats, okay, you will not believe how many cases, how many cases are turning against Obama in the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. You know, well, uh, you're going, if you're going to seize people's homes and give it to it for nothing, then I'm sure as hell not going to pay for my house anymore. If the government's going to, the government says I can live in my home. They're going to refinance it, and, and when I'm perfectly capable of making the payments, well, I can't make the payment because I work for the government, so. And more Prince Harry photos may emerge, oh, UK pub it, it, publicist it, it claim. It turns out Harry... May like, emerge? It turns out that Harry likes to take pictures and keep them on his cell phone. And they, they, they think that his cell phone is where all the pictures are coming from. Yeah. <laughs> And he posed and gave somebody else a cell phone and to take a picture? Probably. Yeah, and then they cloned the cell phone and sent it off. So <laughs> Probably. That's and how it happened. Because you can actually clone the cell phone without having to have your own cell phone. We see it on TV all the time. <coughs> you just have a device with you that does a, you know, you plug it into the port on your computer and you send the stupid out to another, uh, to a, uh, you know, you, you plug it into a port on a cell phone, then you send that information to a computer and you've got everything on a cell phone. And a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, the unfortunate thing about news today is what you're seeing or hearing in the news may not actually have been what happened. We know firsthand.